in this box, I have the most disgusting foods that you that I could find on Amazon. I have a whole range of things. I have I have everything ranging from not so bad to don't even get it anywhere near me. So in today's video, what we're gonna do, or what I'm gonna do for your enjoyment, is try all of these foods. <laughs> It range from not so bad to completely disgusting and you guys get to enjoy my pain and suffering yeah that's what we're gonna do but first before we do that we need to talk about wallets because this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet so most of you I'm sure you probably have wallets that look like this they're big they're bulky they're outdated I bet if, I bet if you went and grabbed your wallet right now and you went through there I bet you would find things you didn't even know you had you would have leftover gift cards receipts some of you might even have change in your wallets that's just crazy but anyway the whole point is these, these things are too big too bulky and you need to come out of 1970 and come into 2020 with a new ergonomic wallet like the Ridge wallet the Ridge wallet it has exactly what you need cards and cash what more do you need in a wallet so it holds 12 cards, and the cards are very easy to get out whenever you need to, say, pay for something. There's a little cutout right here you can see. You just push right here, pull your card out, pay, and then it just slides right back in. You have some cash, you have a cash clip. So on top of being extremely ergonomic, it comes in 30 different designs, and it also has over 30,000 five-star reviews. Why have this when you can have this? So take that, throw it away. In the top of my description, there'll be a link. Click on that link. It'll take you to ridge.com slash tylertube. When you get one of these wallets, use code tylertube at checkout. You get 10% off your order, plus free worldwide shipping. Plus, you can buy one and test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't like it, you can get free returns. And then on top of that, if you buy one and you do like it, it comes with a lifetime warranty. So you can buy this one wallet and carry it for life. So like I said, go ahead, click the link in my description, use code TylerTube, get your 10% off, and get your Ridge Wallet. Now, let's try some of these disgusting foods. So the first thing that we're, that we're gonna try is toxic waste. It says it is hazardously sour candy. Now, I know this isn't necessarily gross, but it is supposed to be really sour, and I've always heard that this is supposed to be like the most sour candy, and I love sour candy, and I've also never had it because throughout my whole childhood, my mom would never let me buy this because it'll give you a tummy ache. So, so I never got to try it. But now that I'm an, an adult and I can make my own decisions, I'm gonna do whatever I want. So take that, mom. Oh, is there different flavors? There is. Oh, this just got so much better. I thought there, for some reason, I thought there was just gonna be one flavor. I didn't know there'd be multiple flavors. So there's green, yellow, and pink, and blue. There's four flavors, awesome. So what do, what do we got here? We got apple, lemon, watermelon, blue raspberry. Let's go with the apple first, because the apple, I would assume either the apple or the lemon's probably gonna be the most sour. Now, like I said, I love sour candy, so I won't be surprised if, if I don't think this is that sour at all. I mean, it's sour. I wouldn't say it's hazardously sour, <coughs> as it <coughs> as it chokes me up. It doesn't. Uh, <coughs> oh, as I'm trying to tell you that it's not that sour, it keeps getting more sour. It wasn't that sour until the first time I swallowed. Then it like then it started getting really sour. Besides being sour, once you get all the, uh, I'm assuming it's malic acid, probably is what makes it sour. Yeah, malic acid. Once you get all that off and you get to the actual candy, it's also a very good candy. It has a really good apple flavor. Let's give the lemon a try. If the lemon's more sour than that, I might be in a little trouble. The lemon's definitely not more sour, but it uh, has a weird taste to it. I'm not really a fan of that at all. The lemon's not that good. It's like, it's, it's not even that sour. It's probably half as sour as the apple. It doesn't taste like a lemon. It tastes, it, it tastes like a lemon if you took like a lemon and just licked the outside of it or something, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't taste like a normal, like lemon candy. Now this watermelon, this watermelon has to be good. Guaranteed. Why is the watermelon green? I, <laughs> I would have figured that the watermelon would have been pink. Oh, 
Also not very sour. <clears throat> Maybe not. No. Oh, it's sour. It too just takes, just like the apple, it just like takes a second. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It makes my eyes water. Okay, so yeah. Watermelon is sour, but it also tastes pretty good. All right, blue raspberry. I'm not a fan of blue raspberry, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. Mmm, it's just kind of like the, uh, kind of like the lemon. Not, not hardly sour at all. This has a weird flavor. Yeah, so the blue raspberry is kind of gross. Now, just because I know somebody's commenting it right now, <clears throat> I'm gonna try them all at once. All the flavors, not all the candies. Oh, I missed a flavor, black cherry. I don't even like black cherry. I guess there's a bunch of different flavors that there could be in here. Let's throw the black cherry one in there too. I'm sure my eyes are gonna be watering. Let's go. Oh. <coughs> I tried I tried to swallow some of the juice and it was like acid. Like I I didn't even get like a whole like a like a whole swallow. Like I, as soon as it hit the back of my throat, I just felt like it was on fire. <sighs> you, you know what's funny? Oddly enough, just from swallowing some of that juice, my stomach kinda hurts a little bit. So maybe mom was right. Next up on the list, <laughs> and I don't know. Bacon flavored cotton candy. This just, everything about this seems like a bad idea. Like I'm not a big cotton candy guy to begin with because it's just nothing but sugar and I'm not really big on sugar. This whole container, this whole thing is one serving. What? Artificially flavored, I hope so. Really, can I not open the package? Oh, look at that. So there's some bacon cotton candy. It doesn't smell like bacon. Get a little piece here. Oh! Oh! oh. That, that's horrible. Uh, I, I, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know. That's like, that's literally, that's the strangest and like, Na not nastiest, but just the strangest, like, I wish I had something to compare it to. Like, I, I don't even know, I don't know what to compare it to. It's just gross. I'll try one more piece and just see if I can, like, just make a comparison. Here's about the closest thing I could, I could, the closest comparison I can make. If you were to take, if you were to cook bacon, okay, and then you let the bacon burn, just sit there and burn, and then, and just let it sit there and soak in the grease and burn. And then you let that cool down and let the grease like solidify. And then like you cut the bacon up and you just kind of like mixed the grease up with the burnt bacon until you had kind of like a, like a, a bacon pudding that was nothing but just bacon grease and burnt bacon. That could, that probably be about as close as you could get. There's no way people are buying this. There's no way like there's like a demand for this. I am throwing this away so fast. Next up, I'm sure you guys have all seen the game Bean Boozled. Normally with Bean Boozled, your goal is to try not to get the nasty flavors, except for, so today we're gonna do the opposite and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat them until I get all the nasty flavors, so that you know how they taste, I guess. I'm really not excited for this. And I've never, I don't know how accurate these are. I've never actually played, played Bean Boozled, so I don't know how like accurate the flavors are. So we have 10 <laughs> delicious flavors to choose from. This is gonna be so bad. We have stink bug, canned dog food, rotten egg, booger, dead fish, Skunk spray, dirty dishwater, barf, stinky socks, and spoiled milk. Who comes up with this? So let's just start from the top. First one we're gonna try is, well, what's the flavor that, are these all bad or are there good ones in here too? Cause they're supposed to be, aren't they supposed to be like one flavor or another? Maybe not, maybe all of, maybe all of these are bad. You know what, I think, I think every single one of these is the bad flavor because I think this is supposed to be like a refill pack or something. All right, so we got, Stink bug. 
Oh. 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 <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's so bad. I need to like pressure wash the inside of my mouth. So whenever you first bite into it, like it, it wasn't that bad. Like it kind of had like a, kind of like a dirt type of flavor to it. And then like once I chewed on it for a minute, it had, it like immediately had this like acidy, like just I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it, it's tasted pretty accurate. I've never had a stink bug. I'm pretty sure that if I chewed on a stink bug, that's exactly what it would taste like. Canned dog food. That can't be, that can't be any worse than a stink bug. Canned dog food can't be that bad. Whew. Here we go. Okay. Not bad, not good, but not bad. If you open a can of dog food, the way a can of canned dog food smells is exactly the way that tastes. And it honestly wasn't that bad. I don't know if it's because just overall it's not that bad, or it's because I just chewed on a stink bug, so it's like nothing compared to that. And it also tasted very accurate. Again, I've never had canned dog food, but that, I feel like that was a very accurate flavor. Rotten egg. There's, <laughs> there's no way this is good. Oh, mm. there's a trash can over there. I don't, I don't know that. I don't know if that tasted like rotten egg or not. But that was bad. Again, it, it tasted the way that a rotten egg smells. Next up is booger. All right, a, a booger that can't be anything compared to the stink bug and the rotten egg. This is gonna be a little salty. Maybe. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe like a, it's not a regular booger. Maybe like a, like a booger if you had like a sinus infection or something. I've had a booger once or twice in my life. That's a bad booger. I thought, I thought this wasn't, wasn't going to be that bad compared to some of this other stuff. This might be worse than some of this other stuff. This one's dead fish. All right, this dead fish, I'm going to eat this one. I'm not even going to make a face. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I was doing so good. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. There was, there's like a, there's like a little nugget in there or something. Oh, whenever, the whole time I was just staring at the camera, I was chewing on it. It wasn't that bad. It just kind of had like a little bit of a, like a, like a dirty flavor. And then all of a sudden something like, like a, this burst of just like nastiness hit me. That's accurate. Man, this is, this is rough. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat the rest of these. Whoever comes up with these ideas, ugh, we need to have a talk. I don't know if I want to go to the next the next level down. I don't know if I want to go to the spoiled milk or to the skunk spray. Because I know they're both gonna be bad. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to the skunk spray and just just get it over with. This is gonna be so bad. Oh, uh, 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 oh, 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 nope, nope, mm -mm. that's accurate, that's like, oh, that had that same type of, whatever the stink bug had in it, that had that same type of thing, that just, just disgustingness, oh, what's this, oh, dirty dishwater, this, this isn't gonna be nothing, dirty dishwater, kind of refreshing, normally I would be grossed out by this, but, after all these other ones, a little soap, cleanse the palate, that ain't nothing. This is actually one that, I've, that I, I'll actually be able to tell if it's accurate. This is barf. I've definitely tasted barf before. Yeah, that's very accurate. That is definitely barf. Kind of tastes like when you got a little bit of, little bit of the acid reflux going. It's sad that that doesn't really affect me after all these other ones. Stinky socks. I bet this also probably won't be too bad. Not much so far. I don't know. Of course, I never tasted stinky socks. But that wasn't that bad. That kind of just tasted like a... Like maybe a jelly bean that was old, kind of. Next up, spoiled milk. I'm glad that... I'm so glad this is the last one. Oh, 
It is crazy how accurate these things are. Why would you ruin a jelly bean? Who's coming up with flavors for jelly beans and decided, you know what we need to do? We need to make every single one of them so disgusting you can't even eat them. Ugh. All right, get that thing away from me. I don't ever want to see that box again. Next up, we have salted herring gummies. I've never had herring. I'm not a big fan of gummies. I'm also not a big fan of salt. What kind of packaging is this? Let's just, let's just use the small knife. Oh, I'm so glad that I have multiples. Oh, these have a weird smell to them. So it appears, I guess I didn't notice this whenever I ordered them. It's in a different language. It says Sol... I mean, you can probably read it, whatever language that is. Solzige herrings. They smell really weird though. Oh, there's two. We're not gonna do two. Fine, you wanna stick together? Stick together. We're only gonna try one. <sighs> Oh, this isn't what I thought it was. It's still gross, but not what I thought it was. <clears throat> I thought these were salted, salted herring flavored gummies. These are salt. This is salted licorice shaped like herring. That's what this is. So these are not herring flavored. So that's that is good for me. That means I got off easy. I'll take that as a win. I mean, this, they're still gross. I still don't like licorice, but not nearly as bad as what I thought it was going to be. So that is an absolute win. I'm just going to walk away from that. I win. Next up, we have sardines. Now I'm sure this is this isn't obviously isn't that crazy or anything. I'm sure a good amount of you probably eat sardines regularly, and you probably love them, and you probably think they're the greatest thing ever. I've never tried sardines. I'm sure they're going to be gross. Listen to this. You hear that? There's no way that anything that sounds like that is going to be good. Really? Ooh, there's, I spilled the water. So, ironically, to open our, our sardine can, I'm going to use the, uh, the little point from the uh, bow fishing slingshot that I reviewed. You know what this is? This is the universe telling me not to eat sardines. Oh. Are you serious? People eat these? They're falling apart. Look at that. The spinal cord is still there. I'm gonna zoom in on that so you can see. You can see right here. <clears throat> it's the spinal cord. You can even see that, like it's kinda... Oh, I broke it. You can see like all the little like cartilage in between the spine. Look at that. Since we're already up close, this is what, this is what the fish looks like. I don't even know why I'm, I'm that worried. People eat these all the time. This is no big deal. I'm just gonna get, just gonna get just a little piece. Just a little, little tiny piece. Okay, gross, but not bad. Not as bad as I thought. I do, I do enjoy fish. I like, like, I like salmon, stuff like that. Not something I would eat, but not horrible. All right, this next thing, this was, this was one of the things that I was, the most worried about, but after everything else that I've tried, it actually might not be that bad <laughs> compared to everything else. This is mixed bugs. All right, it's got mole crickets, field crickets, grasshoppers, silkworms, and sago worms. I don't know what all that means. Let's open this up, let's see what we're dealing with here. All right, let's have a little bag. Oh, geez. Why, who comes up with this stuff? Why am I doing this? I'm gonna get one of everything. I'm gonna bring you guys in close. All right, so here's everything. I have one of each one lined up. I don't know exactly what they are. I know that that is some type of cricket and that's some type of cricket. That's some type of grub, I don't know. But that's all five of them. As you can tell, I'm so excited. I'm really hoping this stuff just tastes like, like just dry nothing. Let's go for this like grub-like thing first. This is kind of just like a potato chip. Um, 
I don't like that. Mm -mm. I can't even think straight. That tasted like the, uh, the, the first jelly bean I tried, whichever one that was. Stink bug. Yeah. Let's go for the miniature, the, uh, the field grasshopper, I guess. Didn't taste like much. Whatever, whatever this thing is. Ah, oh, it tastes just the same as the other one. All right, this big one, this big grasshopper. I'll go over this one. Ah, oh, tastes great. No, oh. yeah, one more. Whatever, whatever this stupid thing is. Ah, oh, it's extra crunchy too. Ah, oh, it tastes bad too. Ah. Oh. I'm taking a break before I do that last thing. All right, I've had a little bit of a break. I'm not ready, but I don't have a choice. And the last thing that I'm gonna be trying is a, if you can see it, zebra tarantula that has been cooked and dehydrated with a light dusting of salt. Oh. Really? Inside of a bag? This is gonna be so bad. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in close. That has a weird smell to it. So right there, there is the zebra tarantula. Doesn't that just look absolutely delicious? Oh, I'm not excited for this at all. Can you imagine if this thing just came to life? There's still teeth in there. I'm not gonna eat teeth, because I'm not eating. You see that crunch? You hear that crunch? I'm not eating teeth. Here we go. Yeah, uh-huh. <coughs> oh, I was just, I almost threw up. Don't eat a, what is this thing? I need a, a zebra tarantula? <coughs> oh, there's like little hairs in my mouth. Oh, that taste, I don't even know how to describe that taste. And I'm, I'm a really, really, really big texture person. That's why like, that's one, one of the, oh, when I was talking, there was another crunch. I'm a really big texture person. Like that's why I don't like pickles because the texture. So the texture of, like the flavor, the flavor itself isn't really all that bad. Honestly, it, it kind of just tastes like dirt, which is still gross, but the texture, that's what gets me. It's like the, the hairy, crunchy, like, ugh. Like that, that's what gets me is that, that, like that just dried dirt, hair texture. Ugh. It's disgusting. Mark that off the bucket list, even though it wasn't even on my bucket list. So if you see zebra tarantulas, don't eat them. They're gross. I hope you enjoyed some of my pain, and I'll see you in the next one.